Well, uh, it seems as if, uh, the boys are quietly coloring in their room. I guess they're out of shape. They haven't had me to wrestle with for a while. Yeah, well, neither have I. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hey, 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 I'm so glad you're home. I missed you. Oh, I missed you, too. I missed you, too. Good. I have so much to talk to you about. I have so much to tell you. Such really great news. And I mean, it's amazing. You're not going to tell me that you found Mike Roy alive. Oh, no, no, no. That was a terrible mistake. I mean, I, you know, got into the same trap that David laid for so many people in this town. A loved one back from the dead. So you're done looking for him, then? Absolutely. Good. And uh, why dwell on the past when the future is just so exciting? I couldn't agree with you more. Jack. Yeah. I'm going to be a star. What do you mean, going to be? You're already a star. No. You're my star. I'm a movie star. Jack, my book has been optioned by a major movie producer, what? and he insists that I play the part. <laughs> and I'm going to have director approval and, and, and script approval and final <laughs> casting approval. I mean, it's a complete dream. And nobody dreams bigger than you or deserves to have those dreams come true. I'm thrilled for you. I am. Did I miss you? I'm glad I am to have you home. Oh, I'm <laughs> so glad to be home. <laughs> hey, listen, we have uh, our own plans to make, don't you think? But Jack, I just, I can't make any plans right now. Not with the movie deal. You're carrying my child. Are you sure? I'm positive. It's a lie. Babe's not alive. Why would you believe anything that Hayward tells you? Hayward did not tell me, okay? I was... When I was recovering, I saw another patient. A woman in the room. It, it, she, she, she had blonde hair. Okay, a lot of women have blonde hair. And weren't you completely out of it? I was medicated, but I was conscious. I know what I saw. She had a bracelet. She had a bracelet on with the letter B on it. Babe didn't have a bracelet on when she died. Well, maybe David gave it to her. He certainly had somebody cut my hair. Why did you tell me this before? Because, JR, I, I don't know. I don't know for certain, but I can't let you run off and kidnap AJ without knowing that it's a possibility. Babe. It's right there. It's dim, a, a glow rather than a light, but I see it. My God, Frankie, I see it. Oh, Mom, this is great. That is amazing. <laughs> What's wrong? It's, it's fading. It, I, 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 I can't see. It's gone. Gone. But you saw it. That's a good sign. It wasn't supposed to happen overnight. Give it time. Your side will come back. Not a word of this to your father. What? This is great. It's the first step. Not a word, Frankie. Why? A glow. That's all it was. And what if that's it? What if it's gone for good? I don't want to get your father's hopes up. So until I see, if I see, he is not to know. All right. Hey, two favorite people. Yeah, and this favorite person has some place to be, so. I just got here, man. Yeah, I got a shift at the hospital. Mm -hmm. Kiss Randy for me. Yeah. It's a good kid, that son of ours. Best. 
So, tell me, were you able to kick David Hayward's evil ass anywhere closer toward the light? Well, I'm hoping that I made some progress. David's a very complicated man. I'm going to be a father again. I know it's not exactly expected. You have no idea what this means to me. I only had a few months with Leora. Babe and Marissa, I didn't even know they existed until they were young adults. Babe was angry at me half the time. Marissa, I pushed her away. I, I never had a chance to be the father that my children needed, to be the father that they deserve. beautiful gift, a second chance for me to be the father that, that I know I can be. I'm just, I'm not at the place in my life where I can accept you as a full-blown parent to this child. This is my baby, not yours. I did go to David, and I asked him if it was Babe. You know, of course he refused to tell me. Yeah. It's impossible. <sighs> Babe died in my arms. Dad saw me die. Okay. Here I am. I'm alive, uh, with, along with so many others. I mean, Zach and Greenlee and, and, and Maria Gray. And, and, and there are others. Because Hayward says so? Come on, Mom, this is what he does. No, but I saw it. Yeah, but doesn't mean that it's what? Babe, okay? Look, you know better than anyone how Hayward messes with people's heads. But I'm going to tell you, he's not going to mess with mine. Babe's dead. If you leave now, you will never know that for sure. Can I buy you a beer? No, no thanks. Or a wine cooler or something, no? Come, sit. The um, game's about to start. Isn't it uh, a little early for hockey? Oh, it's preseason. Sit down. <clears throat> what? Your shoes. On the couch? Really? Yeah, oh, okay, I'm sorry. Well, Here's a bag? Yeah, thank you. What? Nothing. Nothing. Seems like something. No. It's, it's just... Uh, you just got past this whole David drama. You're alive, Zach. You're actually here. We are, we are together. I mean, it, it's a miracle. And I was hoping that maybe we could have some special time together. And what do you want to do? You want to pop up in a beer and watch a hockey game. I mean, really, what the hell is wrong with this picture here? Woo! I mean, can you imagine? One minute I'm promoting my book, and the next, I'm starring in a movie about my life. And very soon, you're going to be starring in the last wedding of your life. Huh? Oh, <laughs> and it's going to be spectacular, Jack. Yes, just as soon as I have time. As soon as you have time. Jack, this is one of the biggest things that's ever happened to me. Uh, as you know, it's something I've dreamed about my whole life. Yeah. I just thought marrying me would be in that category as well. Oh, come on. Of course it is. You know it is. But right now, I mean, I'm going to be a movie star. Oh, and the executive producer, Kit Sterling. I mean, he's amazing. He's brilliant. And he knows everyone. Everyone knows him. He's juggling eight projects all at the same time. He's the one who won the Oscar. Just this, this That's past... That's what I know. Oh, yes. sure, yeah. And he practically begged me to have creative input. 
In fact, Jack, he said that he thinks maybe I will even get my own star on Hollywood Boulevard. That Can you imagine? Me at all. <laughs> Brooke, Hi. what are you doing sneaking around <laughs> here? Come here. Wrong, you not Erica. Erica. Hi, Jack. Oh, what a nice surprise. Good to see you. How are you? I'm, I'm well. Good. When'd you get back? Just today. Oh, long flights can be so dry and can't. You look wonderful. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, of course you do. Of course you do. I mean, especially given... Given what? Well, I'm, I'm just so sorry you're home alone. I mean, Adam has obviously had his family. Adam's come back with me. Oh, so you're not... We're together. Wonderful. How is Adam? I imagine with Chandler going under, it's got to be a really tough time for him. Oh, I can't wait to see Adam. I have so much to tell him. I have such wonderful news. I have optioned my new memoir. I am going to co-produce and star in the movie. <laughs> That's great. Yes, it is. It's just so great. And unlike the time when Adam optioned my book, Raising Cain, and forced me to marry him in order to have the part, and then he took it away from me, this time, I do not have to marry the producer in order to get the part. Well, it's a good thing, too, because you don't even have the time to marry a lawyer who's crazy in love with you. Oh, Jack. Jack. <laughs> oh. A little reminder, I need to be in court. Oh. Excuse me. Oh. We'll catch up with you later in you. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Mwah. Mwah. Beautiful as ever. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> so, things are, um, things are going well for you. Oh, they certainly are. So, no wedding date yet? Well, I mean, the book tour is about to start, and then, uh, well, I, I have this movie script to write, and my goodness, I want to marry Jack when I can devote myself to every single detail. Mm. I mean. Well, you were always good at the old duck and weave. Excuse me? Well, I thought I would have read about the wedding of the century by now. Well, uh, we've been a little busy. You know, Jack just wants to marry you. And it seems to me it's going to be his 22nd century before it ever happens. If it happens. Well, I don't see a ring on your finger. Well, maybe I don't need a ring. Or maybe Adam has realized that he can get all the cotton candy he wants without having to buy the circus. I don't, I don't want to hurt you. you, you understand that? Yes. Yes, I understand. I've been a control freak father who has done more damage to my children than good. But not anymore. You're an amazing woman, Kara. This baby is going to be one very lucky child. It comes from a brilliant father. Which means we made one remarkable baby. Chad, what if it's true? Just to think about it. You know, David reminded me the other day, day that he never approved of your marriage to babe. What if... What if he faked her death in order to get her away from you and, and got her out of Pine Valley? What if I died because I somehow or other got the drug that was meant for Babe? Your theory needs work. It, just, just hear me out. It explains why David was right there at the right time for me. What if he just waited for another chance? With Babe and then the tornado hit? Look, we've been through this, okay? Babe died in my arms. In the chapel, at the hospital. Wait, wait, did David show up? Was he ever alone with her? No, he, 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 he kept her body. He, he took it to... He took her body to the roof. And he wouldn't let anyone see her. Maybe that was the moment. That Maybe that's when he started the process. No. What if it's possible? What if Babe is really alive?